I arrived in Hong Kong on a Thursday night and I was well prepared for the festival on Friday evening. I did a few other things in Hong Kong, ran around, had lunch, and uh, saw some advertising and obviously posed for a thousand photos. Really excited to go to a music festival, especially in Asia. I'd been to a music festival in Turkey and it was amazing. I discovered a lot of new music. The weather was pretty good. It was in a location that seemed really nice. It was, uh, I've never been to Hong Kong Island. I went to Kowloon and stayed on Kowloon the whole time before. So I set out for the ferry to cross the water over to the Hong Kong side. Very happy, things were going well. Proceed to the route. You shouldn't be any trouble to take this ferry. It's very affordable. I'm sure they take international credit card. But no, this is where my evening halted for a couple of hours because I had to go find a way to borrow money. I'll tell that story another time. It involves this gentleman at the tea shop. He helped me out quite a lot, got me to the other side, got me on the ferry. I'll make a different video about how to take the ferry. You need to have cash or an octopus card, and I did not have either one, and I didn't pack my debit card. When I got to the Clock and Flap Festival, there was a line that was about a mile long. So you had to show your ID and your ticket each time you enter the festival, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So it took me about an hour and I only caught part of this show from the line. It was, it was great. I really wish I got to see that. Seems like if I hadn't messed up the ferry, I would have seen that performance. I've seen Arctic Monkeys twice before, probably over 10 years ago, but I couldn't say they've changed that much. They still have it down pat. They're very good performers, they're excellent at festivals and arena rock, and there's something to be said for that when you have a really good system and you can really rock, because the rest of the festival, they weren't exactly accustomed to this environment. Their sound was okay, <laughs> but obviously Arctic Monkeys, they knew what they were doing.
Saturday morning I went to brunch and went to the K-11 Mall and the Hong Kong Museum of Art but I took the ferry with a bus load or maybe two bus loads of Chinese tourists and it was very exciting for all of us. I really enjoy the water, I really enjoy the ferry, it's only like a dollar each way. I think I did make a good decision staying on the Kowloon side but I did have a little trouble with the ferry. But Saturday, a fucking clap was not as exciting as Friday. It seemed to be longer and hotter and more crowded. But you can see exactly what I saw. The electric tent was my favorite. <laughs>
I was surprised they let me have this table by myself on such a busy evening, but I was just enjoying it, you know. I've gotten lucky many times before. They brought delicious food and I stuffed it in my face. And then someone else joined me at the table and they put up a divider. But most of the time I had that table to myself. <laughs> I would say all in all, I'm glad I went to Clock and Flap. 
it was a wonderful weekend in Hong Kong. I don't know that the festival was really the highlight. I did see some new music, that was cool. I think the museum was the highlight for me. Or maybe it was the banana boat. There was a lot more people in Hong Kong during this visit, and that's a good thing. Hong Kong's coming back to life. China is rising like a phoenix. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs>